welcome back to my sewing vlog the seaside sewist i'm natalie and happy new year happy 2023 how did we even get here i haven't been on for a while um obviously with the whole um run up to christmas um for a few months before christmas i was i sort of had covid then i got a chest infection i needed antibiotics i just wasn't myself um but i'm ready to get back into youtube and get back into sewing january is actually my first year anniversary of being on youtube so i started this obviously a year ago and you know i didn't realize i'd be on 40 plus videos by now but i'm enjoying it and i think what filming on youtube has done for me is it's helped me with my sewing it's a way for me to document what I'm making and my plans and just uh, an outlet to share them I know I have an Instagram page but I like to share on here um, it's a bit more visual you can have a bit of a chat about what went wrong what went right and reviews of things so I really do enjoy that so this is only a short video I've got a little bit of a haul from just before Christmas um, sort of over Christmas and what I bought in the sales it's not a lot but I just wanted to share it with you so the first things I've got to share with you are a few things from a new business that a good friend of mine on Instagram has set up recently called Pattern Pouch Nest now this lady Anna is the one who encouraged me to actually start my YouTube channel she supported me and my businesses so I thought I would do the same for her so Pattern Pouch Nest which I'll link in the description box below is um, the concept is kind of you, you choose a pattern there's some indie patterns on there and some vintage patterns she puts together a little set of notions fat quarters things like that but she puts them all in a little pouch a handmade pouch that she's made herself so go over and check out some of the things on there she also sells handmade pin cushions things like that and also fabric so i bought a couple of pieces of fabric from her now the first one is this more of a halloween fabric but i've got plans for it and it is a uh, cotton and it's on a black background and then it's got like charcoal skulls and and um cats and then you've got like these little yellowy like amber potion bottles um there's candles there there's like moths and I bought a meter of that and I'm going to use that to make book sleeves for some um, new book sleeve kits that I'm putting together in my Etsy shop so you're going to have a book sleeve with a bookmark um, maybe some sort of scary book and some little treats in there so I'll let you know when they're live so as soon as I saw that I thought that's what I can use for that and the other was a meter of this beautiful cotton jersey which I think I will make some sort of t-shirt out of so it's like the marble tie-dye effect with this gold running through it so I just thought that was lovely very quick service came all wrapped in brown paper with string round a lovely little card to say thank you so much for supporting my business and and she's just a lovely lady um so i'll leave all the links below to her and you can go and check out her new shop then um just before christmas she sent me a christmas card um obviously just to say merry christmas and inside she put in this adorable little cross stitch kit so it's a little beehive and a bee and it's a, a full kit um, so I just thought that was lovely she's just very very thoughtful that way she really is she's a lovely lady right the next 
things that I got. I actually shopped the Hobbycraft sale um, on Boxing Day and I got these little mini cross stitch kits. So these are three inches by three inches, I think. Yeah, three by three, and you can either put them into cards, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some tiny little frames and I'm going to start sewing these up now um, for people as little gifts so they can put like a little bauble on the tree. So I've got two of that one. Two of that one. Two of that Christmas tree one. And two of Santa's sleigh. And I think these were half price, they were down to 125 each, so I bought eight. So I'm gonna just work on those throughout the year. Um, so by the time I get to sort of November time, I've got something to gift. So the next piece of fabric I got as part of an advent. I did the 12 days of advent with so much more, um, which was lovely. There was sewing notions, threads, things like that. But on day 12, I got an actual piece of fabric and it's lovely. So it's one and a half meters of this brushed charcoal, and pink and white cotton. It's a, it's a brushed cotton. It's lovely, it's absolutely lovely. And it was just lovely to get a piece of fabric in there. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna make with it yet. Probably something snuggly kind of for next winter. Would I get another advent calendar? I'm not sure. Um, I watched many people's unboxings and I know they're meant to be sewing related, that's the whole point. But for me, it's like how many seam rippers pinwheels you know things like that can you accumulate it i think they're great for someone just starting out i really do um but unless it's something where you've actually get fabric included where you can make something um i don't think i'll go down that route again they're not the cheapest thing in the world um i do have a little idea of my own for next Christmas um, releasing some boxes through my Etsy um, which is very just in its early stages of thinking about at the minute um, but it would be more where probably your 12 days of advent and at, at the end of the 12 days there's things within the box so that you can actually make something um, so I'm kind of thinking about that at the minute. Let me know if you'd be interested though um, and if you've got any ideas. Right, so the next couple of things that I purchased were patterns. Now, I love a sew over it pattern. I think they're probably my favourite pattern company at the moment. The sizes are just very true to my sizes and the style suits me. So when they were having a sort of advent run up to Christmas they had a different deal every day and this certain day there was 40% off coat patterns <clears throat> so I bought the Jessie Cortigan which I'll insert a picture here and it literally says the Jessie Cortigan is a warm online jacket perfect for that in between seasons autumn and spring weather Depending on your fabric choice, Jessie can be worn as outerwear or a cosy top layer for wearing around the house. So it's all online, it's got nice deep pockets, uh, there's a big front facing on it and I just really liked the look of this. Not too much of a coat but you know just something like a layering piece and to go with that I shopped the Rainbow Fabrics at 50% off wool sale over Christmas and bought, I think I bought, three metres of this grey melting wool which has been pre-washed. So I'm going to make that Jessie Cortigan out of this. Now it's quite structured. It is, It when you open it up, oh I'm fighting with it. When you open it up, it is quite thin, do you think? So, 
I just think it'll make a really nice cortigan. I'm hoping when I iron it that it softens it down a bit. It is a little bit rough for me. It's it's melting wool. Maybe I should have chosen something with a polyester content as well. Um, but I wanted something quite smart, so I've got it in this dark grey colour. So that's what I'm making the Jesse cortigan out of. So I will go more into sorry I've moved the camera and everything now right you can go down there Whew. I will explain more in my make nine plans about that because that is going to be the first of my make nine which will be my next video I'm just putting together some of the last bits the next pattern that I bought I was not into this pattern at all when I saw it released. It's not me. I'm not into sort of gym wear, leisure wear, sports wear. But I saw Tamlin from Sewn on the Tine made like a daisy fleece version, which doesn't look sports wear at all. And she'd sort of colour blocked it. And I thought, I think I need to have this now. And it is the Arlo jacket by the Friday Pattern Company. So I'll put a picture in here. You're probably sick of seeing this now. So it's a unisex track jacket. Um, perfect lightweight layer. It's got a sports collar. Interesting seam lines and comfortable front pockets. There's three different lengths, body lengths, and there's three different sleeve lengths as well. Um, it's aimed at intermediate but is achievable by a confident beginner I think I fall between confident beginner and intermediate um, it's designed for knits with at least 20% cross grain stretch French terry sweatshirt fleece ponty and other sturdiness are ideal drapey not so much so it's got obviously it's got ribbon on the hem band and on the cuffs now when I saw this and I saw that Tamlin had, had colour blocked the back in like plain black I thought hmm I've got some scraps from two coats that I've made previously um, this one being the Nova coat by paper cut patterns and it's a pink boucle and from another jacket that I made, the Ilford jacket which is Friday Pattern Company as well the bit of the Sherpa, Sherpa fleece left so I've got some of the pink boucle which I will show you on my make nine when you get the Sherpa out it literally goes everywhere so I'm not in the position at the minute to get that out to show you but I will show you on my next video and then hoover up afterwards so I thought if I colour blocked with those and then found maybe a, a contrasting rib or a pink rib to go with it so then all I need really is the open ended zip I'm hoping that it works what I'm thinking at the minute is because that Sherpa fleece does fray quite badly if the edges aren't finished off I haven't read the pattern instructions properly but if it's unlined inside I don't want that to just be coming away inside all the time so I'm really going to have to kind of think about how I block it I think the majority of it's going to be the pink boucle because I've got quite a lot of that left and then I think the colour blocked bits um, are going to be the Sherpa and I might be able to sort of overlock them first or something like that um, that's another thing that, that I've got to do. I've cleaned both of my machines after Christmas but when I was making a cardigan with like a thick rib knit just before Christmas I don't know whether I've damaged the blades on my overlocker so I bought an upper and lower blade. I bought some new blades but I've cleaned my overlocker. I'm going to try it first and if it's not cut in I'm going to have to then swap the blades over which I, I'm hoping is literally just unscrew and screw new ones on I really do hope that because I need my overlocker um, what else have I got to tell you as I'm sitting here 
I've got a mirrored wardrobe then I've just looked into it and it is snowing outside it's my day off which is fine but it's snowing which is not I love looking at the snow from inside but I, I hate going out in it it doesn't look like it's gonna lay it's very very fine at the minute but I'm not looking forward to going out in an hour or so so what else have we got to tell you so you'll remember a little while ago I, well in November, I went to the Knitting and Stitching show in Harrogate with a group of ladies that we'd never met before and we all really hit it off. Some of the ladies that had joined the group couldn't make it, um, hopefully the, they'll be able to meet in future meetups but we're meeting at the end of February we're going to Leeds, we're going for a bit of fabric shopping and for something to eat. So I'm looking forward to that. But a lot of us are going to the shindig called The Gathering, which is in Cleckie and in Yorkshire in April. And we can't wait. So this is a little gathering for soys that um, Ali, who was on the Great British Sewing Bee, along with Size Me Sewing and Frugalissima on Instagram. They're putting it together and I think there was something like 75 tickets to go and it's literally just to have, there's a disco, there's food and it's just to get all the sewers together. Um, but we're making a real weekend of it. We're gonna go, I think, and do a bit of fabric shopping then we're, we're doing that on the Saturday night. We're staying over and we're having breakfast together the next morning. So it's just going to be a lovely little gathering. Um, and I think it's a lovely thing that the ladies are doing to, to get people together. They're not making a profit from it. All the ticket sales, it's just all going into the night. So it, that's going to be brilliant. Now I will leave a link. I've just tried to go on Instagram to get a bit of information to tell you about this and I can't actually get into the page anymore where you buy the tickets. I'm not sure whether all the tickets are sold out. But if you are going, uh, let me know. Um, and I'd love you to come over and say hi. I sit in front of this camera and chat away as if I'm quite confident. I'm not really. Um, I'm, I'm quite a quiet person. Um, so you won't sort of find me going up to, to someone and going oh I've seen you on YouTube or Instagram hi I mean after a few drinks I might um, so as the night goes on I might pluck up the courage to go and to speak to somebody that I recognise but please come and say hi um, and come and say hi to our, our little group that we've put together anyone is more than welcome to sit with us I know there's a few ladies that weren't from the group that are, are joining us because they know some of the other ladies um, so it, it, I think it'll just be a lovely lovely night so I'm looking forward to that and I'm going to have to make an outfit for that aren't I that might be on my make nine so as I say I'm going to be back with a couple of videos over the next couple of weeks one is going to be my make nine plans and the other one is going to be a review of 2022 everything that I made which might be a long one. I think I made about 14 garments, which for me is is quite a lot for other people. That might not be very, very many, but I, I, that is a fantastic achievement for me. Um, so give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. So until next time, thanks, bye.